our mission is to help you learn the English language. We have created easy to follow free educational materials for those seeking knowledge of English. What do you think of shopping? I don't mind shopping for food and other daily needs. What do you think of big department store? It's fun walking around them, but their displays are so good I'm tempted to buy things I don't really need. Did you hear about car accident on Spring Road yesterday? Yes, I did. I heard that they took both drivers to hospital. One needed surgery. Yes, I heard he had a few broken bones too, but that the doctors have set the fractures without any problems. The second driver was luckier. He had a concussion and needed some stitches for his head wound. Yes, he was released from hospital yesterday evening. The other man could be there for weeks. I understand that he's connected to a heart monitor and breathing apparatus. His condition can't be very good. The hospital announced this morning that his condition is poor but stable. What does that mean? It means he's really badly injured, but he will almost certainly survive. His family will be pleased to hear that. They must have been so worried. Hey, Tom, I want to learn how to play golf. You're really sporty. I want to do everything I can. Do you have clubs? No. Can I rent clubs? There are clubs for beginners. It's cheaper to buy those rather than rent them a few times. What kinds of clubs? Like the seven piece set. It's only $120. I'll buy a set, but you have to teach me. Okay. Betty was in hospital. I know that. I met her last week. And she looked as pale as death. She suffers from cancer. That's too bad. She's been so kind to us all. Who's the champion in this picture? Let me show you the one with curly hair. He's very handsome, I think. Who broke the glass, Peter? That cat. I was not born yesterday. It must be either you or Adam. It's me, Mum. I am sorry. Are you a blogger? Sure, I am. I've been writing a blog for almost three years. Oh. It seems that I'm the only one who never blogs. When did you get started? I began blogging when I first went to the U.S. for my graduate strides. What do you usually write about? At first, I'll write about my life there. Like interesting things on the campus, travel stories, special English words that I come across. Sometimes, I'll post my pictures on my blog so my friends and family can get to know how everything's going. That's interesting. How often do you write a blog? It's random. If there happen to be a lot of things going on, I may add several new entries in a week, and if I've got nothing to share, I may leave my blog untouched for weeks. Got it. Are you still updating your blog? Sure. Since I came back from the U.S., I've been keeping the habit of blogging, simply to share my personal insights on any topic I like. Good for you. I know many people just leave their blogs alone after the first few months. Your tree looks beautiful. Do you decorate it this way every year? 
Yes, it's a family tradition dating back to my childhood. We use the same lights and ornaments, but of course we have a new tree each year. The children made some of these decorations. Here, you can hang this on one of those high branches. Well, everything seems to be just about ready. Now all we need is snow. Do you exchange the presents in the morning? Oh, yes. The kids are too excited to wait. After we clean up the mess all the empty boxes and the wrapping paper we have a big breakfast. Then the kids have the whole day to play with their new toys. And we'll have a great turkey dinner at around 4 o'clock. My brother and his family will be joining us. I look forward to meeting them. Well, it's late, so I'll say good night. I'll see you early tomorrow, so I can share your Christmas morning. Good night. I'm sorry, but I can't come to your party. What a shame. Do you consider yourself a good mother? Yes, I'm a very good mother and successful career woman. How can you manage to do both? I mean, it is so hard to be a working mother. I think the most important thing is that you should be nice to yourself, like keeping housework simple, spending money on things that make life easier, buying yourself things you like, and so on. You can only be nice to others when you can be nice to yourself. Does your husband feel the same? Yes, he is very understanding and supportive. Well now that I know what kind of movies you like, tell me, what's your least favorite kind of movie? I don't really like sci-fi movies because they're always really weird. I know, I don't get them at all. But wait, isn't Terminator a sci-fi movie? Hmm, you're right. Well, I guess Terminator is an exception to the rule. Did you order the cake? Oh, I forgot. Get on the phone right now. It might not be too late. I'm so sorry. Okay. So you just want a simple message on it? Yeah. How about, Happy Birthday Tony, from the gang? I'm on it. Don't you think that's a good idea to hold a party outside? I don't think so. How about going to a concert? That should be fun. Hi, I'm happy you could make it. Well, I've been looking forward to seeing you. What can I get you? I'd love a gin and tonic. I'm terribly nervous. Calm down. Lisa. Would you like to go to the library with me? Okay. Do you think we can go buy a newspaper first? Sure. First we'll go buy a newspaper and then we'll go to the library. Are we going to walk or drive? The weather is really nice today. Let's walk. The weather is good now, but I think it's supposed to rain this afternoon. All right. Then let's take an umbrella. Is your brother coming with us? No, he's still sleeping. Wow, it's already 10 a.m. He must have been up late last night. Yeah, he didn't come home until 12 a.m. I hope he can come later. I hope so too. I'll give him a call when we get there. How do we get to the library from here? It's straight down this road on the left, next to the museum. It takes about 10 minutes.
Hello, Mike. Would you like a drink? No, thank you. I had too much to drink yesterday evening. I had a bad hangover this morning. My head felt terrible. Were you celebrating something? Yes, it was a friend's birthday party. We drank all kinds of things beer, wine, and spirits. After midnight, we were even drinking cocktails. It's a bad idea to drink a combination of alcoholic drinks. You should stick with one for the whole evening. I know, but it was a celebration, Yu Quan. I don't think I've seen you drunk. I usually only drink beer and I rarely drink more than a few pints. You are a sensible drinker. Anyway, I'm not going to drink any alcohol this evening. I don't want another bad hangover. Let me buy you a soft drink then. How about a Coke? Yeah, that's a good idea. I heard that Coke was first used as a medicine. Rally? Barman, a large Coke with ice and lemon, please thanks. Here's the money. Are you going to the wine tasting tomorrow? Yes. I thought it might be interesting to learn a little about wine. And taste a few. There will be wines from several countries and an expert to give advice on which wines are good and which ones are not. Yes, I'm looking forward to it. It's a lovely day, isn't it? Yeah, and most excitingly, I met the girl living under me today. She's really nice. Is she American? Yeah, and most importantly, she's single. Man, I could tell from the moment I saw her, she's the girl of my dreams. So I take it you two are hitting it off? I know it's very convenient to be in a relationship with your neighbor, but what if you break up? I don't know. I am not really worried about that. I don't want to lose before even starting. Besides, I think the other two American guys have also fallen for her. Sounds like you've got some competition. You made a move already? Not yet, but I am thinking of inviting her to dinner sometime. I know some good restaurants nearby. That's nice. Having been here a little while surely gives you the advantage, eh? You bet. Now that you mentioned it, I think I'll call her now and see if she is available tonight. Good luck. Thanks. I went to the doctor yesterday. I beg your pardon? I said I had been to the doctor the day before. What did he say? He said I'd got the flu. Oh dear, what did he tell you to do? He told me to stay in bed for ten days. Ten days? Would you please repeat it again? Yes, ten days. Happy birthday. This is for you, Kate. Thanks, Miss Wang. You know in China we usually don't open presents until the guests leave. Really? I've already opened it. Great. And it is exactly after my fancy. Thank you very much. Following our free educational materials, you learn English in a great way, with ease and efficiency.